there's a lot of talk here gossip and opinion these are outsiders or influences within a situation and someone is realizing they don't want something to be celebrated they don't want something to get back to you this is at a distance hmm. someone doesn't want you to see or find out a truth about them this is someone who is now at a distance from you someone who gave into lust or weaknesses a foundation or even a false environment this is someone who is now realizing too many people are talking they don't want something to be heard something to be validated or seen in the light while wow, there's some jealous energy surrounding them there is intense energy of a snake or someone who is pretending to be innocent but is very vicious. This is someone who is coming out as very close to this energy energetically. This energy is definitely in their space. This is someone who doesn't want something to get out. This is someone who possibly rejected an offer from you. Hmm. Because now this energy is stuck on the memory of you. Someone feels like it's all they have left after they lost their identity. They lost a truth. Someone feels lost in the challenges that they have created for themselves. But I sense due to their prideful ways, someone is still lost and still being reckless when it comes to something that should be detached or should be seen for what it is but someone is so driven by their ego their pride these highs and lows have somehow reached a climax something is being exposed someone feels like you know more than you're saying that you know i feel there are small challenges when dealing with this energy that only begins to get greater as things are unresolved and still has come to no clear conclusion there's no closure when it comes to someone and that was not the plan that was not the plan, but I feel there's some highs and lows that keeps them attached to their ego, their pride. But something is reaching a breaking point. There will be a delay or a detour when, when it comes to something that is being spoken. Someone doesn't want you to see something and they don't want others to celebrate it, talk about it. Wow. This detour is them giving into false hope, a false reality. Someone's getting a reality check when it comes to a waiting game. There's no breakthrough because this energy is sitting in their ego, still attached to a, a false environment or a third party that keeps them weak. This is the third party energy. If so, it is someone who presents themselves as someone who is trustworthy, possibly even a soulmate. But there is intense energy here because there is a lesson to be learned. And this third party energy is only something or someone that should be in passing. This is someone who thinks about the possibilities with you. Things are reckless. Things are unsure. Perfectly imperfect. Someone thought something was was worth it. But something only became a trap. This energy has become very wounded when it comes to their choices, their mistakes, their weaknesses. There's a karmic energy here making them feel like something is no longer safe. Coming towards you isn't safe or being with them is not safe. But someone thought something that was perfectly imperfect is now torn apart. Something is being pushed to a breaking point. This is reality for someone who is giving in to fake love, a false situation, something that is so-called love. This is someone who is out of sync and that was never the plan. But due to time or space or energy, something cannot be undone. There's arguments here, some type of tension or something surrounding something that was said. Someone still holding something or trying to keep someone bound. Still justifying their behaviors and over romanticizing a third party situation. I feel this third party or false environment is completely getting away with everything. They're making excuses, turning red lights into green lights. This energy is not trying not trying to see a truth when it comes to a false twin flame. There's no breakthrough because this energy is still justifying bad habits when it comes to a third party that has them out of sync. This energy is going through a dark night of the soul. 
A dark night of the soul to awaken their fears through lessons or this energy is not seeing the truth. But through this dark night of the soul, someone will be awakened to their fears when it comes to forgiveness and lessons that need to be learned. Someone is definitely coming to a, to a toxic crossroads when it comes to being addicted to toxic things, people, places. Something's about to erupt when it comes to a situation where someone was over, over romanticizing a situation that now has too many attachments, highs and lows. Someone is still not sure about something because they're still attached to their ego. But I feel losing you wasn't part of the plan. Someone is now realizing how big of a snake someone else is. This could be their energy. This could be the third party. Please take it how it resonates with your message. If someone is going through a breakthrough, this is a dark night of the soul where someone is really learning from their lessons. And if not learning from their lessons, someone is struggling through the blood, sweat, and tears of it. Let's get some more energy here. I feel these small challenges here created a detour, delays when it comes to a separation. The two of you reaching a peak, saying goodbye, even if there is no words, there's a breakup. Let's get some more energy here. This is chasing energy. Someone is still interested in you, but I feel they could be dealing with someone who is going to chase. Or someone is a little upset because you didn't. Someone's upset you took a different route. You didn't do what you usually did. I feel you just took a different route in manifesting. This is the detour. This is the detour when it comes to small challenges that were supposed to keep you stuck. But I feel the reason or the, the fact that you didn't chase caused a detour in a situation that they did not see coming. Let's get some more energy here. I feel like this is someone who is full of anxiety. They feel like you're getting closer to the truth. They feel like you're realizing the truth about them or the actions that they have already taken. Someone feels like these differences between the two of you is never going away. Someone is not making the effort because they feel like it'll be too much to get you to see a truth. Especially when it comes to a third party or a false environment. This could be karmic energy as well. Please take it how it resonates. But someone is not perfectly imperfect. This third party has a lot of flaws. And the paint is definitely starting to trip. I feel this energy had you waiting at some point. Someone thought that you'd never give up on them. But now they're trying to mirror your energy in some way. Someone's trying to figure you out when they thought they already had you figured out. Someone doesn't realize you're activating something within, pulling away. You're no longer romanticizing this situation you're seeing this energy for exactly who they presented themselves to be still justifying their actions when it comes to this connection this energy is still wasting time still wasting time watching and trying to control their emotions or control their heart when it comes to you someone is still trying to manifest when they just need to be honest with themselves honest about their wounds honest about how they feel this is someone who doesn't like the feeling that they've been rejected by you. And I feel for many of you, you're thinking you didn't reject them. But I feel the fact that you stood up for self or you didn't let them slide or you just didn't overlook something. Someone is holding you accountable or they're wanting you to feel bad about calling them out about the pain. The pain that they're going through or even the pain that they are causing because it's someone who goes to you or blocked you. Someone is coming out as a lost case who is going through some unplanned events when it comes to a separation where there is no respect. This is a runner chaser dynamic where someone has an unfaithful heart. They were not available mentally, spiritually. They just repeated cycles because they are unawakened. Someone is still lost, and this is what caused something to get out of control or spiral. Someone tested you and didn't complete a test. Someone tested you and failed. I feel this is someone who 
knows that there's lessons to be learned when it comes to this situation, but they also made some unexpected changes that brought on some unexpected events. I feel there were two ways to do this situation and this energy chose the latter. They're convinced. They're convinced that love is supposed to be this way. This energy has convinced themselves this turbulence between the two of you is normal. But I feel this is someone who did something out of convenience because testing you failed. Someone still has some, some commitment issues, still hiding behind a mask. Lost when it comes to love, this energy may be stuck in limbo. And this is why they're repeating cycles of being a runner as you're activating from within. Someone is repeating cycles because they're always trying to test others, test the loyalty or the love of others, while this is someone who is never truly walking a straight path. Never. Always making excuses because they're unawakened and still not trying to change. This is someone who is stuck in limbo when it comes to being blocked or ghosting others, but I feel they have also caused a ripple effect when it comes to unexpected events. This is someone who is trapped in their own mess, but still there is some runner-chaser dynamic here when it comes to a third party. Someone is still running instead of accepting what it is when it comes to their false hope. Something is definitely reaching a climax. There's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of worry. One more card. And there's a lot of detours when it comes to someone who thought this was just a small challenge. There's a lot of regret. As I said before, there's a lot of regret for someone who thought that these small challenges were just a small detour, but now this energy is sitting in a space of regret, not wanting to show a real truth, not wanting you to see a truth that is already seen, or for many of you, it's already been spoken, even if something has yet to be spoken. Let's get another deck out here. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. So let's get some energy here from this day. Overly confident. This is someone who is overly confident and they made you wait within a situation. Runner energy. So it seems like someone was overly confident when it comes to running from you to a third party or a situation that required less of them. This is someone who wants to put the past behind them or this energy is pretending like they have no clue about the details of a situation. This is someone who is still trying to break free and choosing to hide certain details or facts because they were still entertaining the thoughts of something that was wrong, something that they now wish that he could get right. Wow. This is someone who was very cocky about the mess that they put themselves into. This is someone who just thought running would be easier. This is the coward's way out where there is someone who is unable to face their own reality because they are detached. And for some of you, they were cold-blooded when they did it. Someone was being very cold. They know that you are suspicious of their dysfunctional ways. The fact that they're always not wanting to see a truth or the fact that they're superficial. This energy is in fear of you nitpicking or finding out a fault, seeing a truth about something. Someone feels like you're going to see straight through the bullshit. And this is why they're pretending and putting up this front or even being vengeful or vindictive towards you. This is where the cold heart is coming out. This third party is making them detached, more evil, <laughs> more spiteful. Someone who feels like they now know what they do, what they're doing, but this energy is still lost when it comes to affairs with the heart. They're still walking away and misleading you, misleading you, misleading others. This energy is wanting to keep something private. Someone doesn't want you to know the full truth when it comes to something. They're in fear of it. But I feel this energy is also overly confident about running, feeling like you can't see or you can't prove it so they're not confessing they have no intentions on talking about the past and the trauma the trauma that they're going through and the trauma that they've caused anyone else this energy is using time to wash away their bad behaviors this energy is hoping that time heals your wounds this energy is hoping in time you'll forget the details this is why they just vanished. This is why this energy did something abruptly. This is why this energy is possibly holding resentment. 
and still doing things from a lost space. I feel this energy is still trying to keep something private when it comes to their dysfunctional ways. They're in fear, but they're already knowing that you are suspicious. Someone already knows that you are suspicious when it comes to their toxic ways, but this energy is realizing being this way with you isn't getting them any closer to what they thought that they were going to get, whether that is in life and love or just having some type of temporary time out with you. Something just got bigger and bigger. It got out of their hands, out of their control, especially when you started making decisions for yourself. You started being more independent. Someone was cocky and overly confident that running away from you will cause you to forget about something. Someone wanted you to forget about the breaking of the past promises, how something got out of hand, how they truly broke the chain or the connection with you. But this energy is still choosing to hide some things. There's no depth, there's no character, there's no reward. This is why someone is not wanting you to see the truth. Someone knows you're going to see through this false reality that they've created by running away from you. No expectations. So for many of you, this is a runner energy who had no expectations of you figuring something out. This is why they were overly confident about a situation. This is someone who was very cocky or even conceited, but now this energy knows something was a big mistake. Someone knows that something was a big mistake by being in denial and being overly confident about using time to run away. Someone thought that they could heal something by just not talking about it or being distant from you. Someone thought that you would soon feel detached or feel like you needed to drop this just to have them next to you. Yet I sense this energy was shocked that you became independent. There's a lot of regret, there's a lot of memories, because as I said before, it seems like it's all they have left. Someone knows they should have never pulled away, gave you the silent treatment, or been passive, aggressive. This energy was procrastinating and had a very bad attitude. This is someone who was overly confident, had a bad attitude, and this is why they let something progress. Someone knew something was getting out of control, but I feel as long as it was in their favor, they didn't really care. This is why they were hesitant or they were indecisive. Hmm. There's a sense of entitlement when it comes to someone who was unreasonable, unreliable, and they could be having some sense of a mood swing when it comes to something spiraling or how something spiraled with you. I feel this situation is just lost. They're in denial about how something spiraled. They're having a bad attitude because they know something was a big mistake. So whatever they are, they're giving off some real bad vibes. Others that are attached to them see them as dead weight or they feel like those around them are dead weight. But either way, I feel they're about to learn a big lesson when it comes to attaching themselves to people they barely know. I feel this is someone who is very lazy lacking effort. This is why they're procrastinating and giving you the silent treatment. This energy is being passive aggressive, still trying to ignore the issues by not talking. This is someone who's being very superficial or surface level when they took the coward's way out, when they took the easiest, easiest way because they couldn't face their issues head on. They just made something more complicated than it needed to be by being reclusive or just making excuses for being a lost soul. It's someone who is completely guarded to being oblivious. Someone wants you to forget. Hmm. Someone wants you to be ignorant to their excuses. Someone doesn't want you to you know, see the truth, poke out the facts of a situation. Someone wants you to have tunnel vision when it comes to their lies. Even though they know that won't work, someone's really being discreet about it. Even when they know it's your pet peeve, it won't work because you're not going for it. Someone is procrastinating because they're hesitant to how things worked out, but I feel the spiraling of a situation, someone didn't see this coming. 
or the fact that people are going to talk about it. Someone feels like you're going to hear something regardless or you already know something and they feel like being silent about something too long was just a big mistake. They're already being judged. And for some of you, they feel like you're going to hold them to it. They're going to, they feel like you're going to just, you're going to laugh at them or you're not going to let them forget it. <laughs> This is why this energy is pretending not to know the details or not wanting to come clean or not wanting to go deeper within a situation that they know has spiraled. This is someone who wants to come to a truce. Hmm. Because they're sitting in a space of disbelief. Feeling like, like the compassion you once had or you once gave will never be given again. They feel like that's no longer an option. Hmm. They feel like the way you are now is the way it's always going to be. This is someone who missed an opportunity with you because they were too afraid of what they were going to lose when it comes to their pride and ego. Or to just finally be attached in a real way. Now they're sitting in a space where the cloudy judgment is making them resentful. Putting up a wall or causing more silence. Someone is still not being clear when it comes to you. Yeah, someone definitely thought it was bliss on the other side. Someone thought the glass, the grass was greener. So they tiptoed over there. This could be to have more attention to gain more love or validation. Someone was being surface level or immature when they made these decisions or just went cold on you, ran from you, things spiraled, but they still gave in to something, giving in to denial, someone procrastinated and fell into a deeper situation, eyes wide shut, someone thought that they knew a truth, but they walked in blindly, eyes wide shut. This energy thought that they could see the truth about a third party or a situation that, that they got involved in. They thought it would be bliss. They thought the grass was greener on the other side. Someone gave in to something wholeheartedly. They put all their eggs into one bag basket, but now they realize it was all a lie. Someone in this situation, this could be a third party thinking that they gave in to a lie, or this could be their energy, someone who misses you, who is still hiding a truth. Someone doesn't want you to know something because they feel like you're going to be resentful towards them. You'll never forget it. They feel like if they expose something or reveal the full truth, you'll resent them for it. This is why they lie. And this is why they run. This is why this energy will always find a way to blame you. Being immature because they know they found themselves. Someone knows they clown themselves when it comes to the drama. It was just a fantasy, an illusion, a false way of thinking that they know they have to fess up on. Someone knows they need to come clean when it comes to the choices of not wanting to be loyal or pulling away from you. Letting something slip away by trying to escape. Someone allows something to slip away because they slipped away. Someone escaped the situation and sabotaged everything. Someone blew it. They didn't take the offer when it comes to love, a new beginning. This energy sabotaged things by not being reliable. Now many of you feel like the damage is done. You're not going back. You know your worth. And many of you are guarded to someone you still have a lot of love for. I feel this is someone who knows that you're guarded, but this energy will only fly inside of you. This energy just doesn't like the fact that you may be moving on. So I feel like this is someone who knows they, sh they should clear something up when it comes to a soul contract that is now in the reverse. This energy not pursuing something will definitely leave something broken or torn for too long. And it just may not find a way to make some type of amends. Many of you would rather move on than to continue to deal with this situation where there's a lot of love lost or no love gained. I feel this is someone who is going to be very obsessed if they don't pursue some type of reconciliation with you. If they don't pursue this connection, something will be torn and they will be stuck. Wow. 
stop with a third party karmic energy will, who will definitely teach them a lesson when it comes to being a fraud, a fake, a phony. This third party or false environment is just as delusional or dysfunctional. Unhealthy situations, un unhealthy attachments, relationships, when it comes to weaknesses and temptations, others are stabbing each other in the back. I feel someone is trapped or will be trapped, trapped in doubt. Hmm. If they continue to hold on to a contract or a false environment that will only teach them lessons from a broken way of thinking, a false way of being. Something will only bring them baggage. No apology. Something should have been platonic. Someone should express how they feel to you. Yet this energy gave into some type of flirtation, weaknesses, or desires when it comes to a family. Something was all lip service, all talk, no walk. Someone gave into someone talking and pretending to be something that they were not. This could also be their energy of pretending to be something that they are clearly not. But it's also another reason they're trying to make sense of their own actions, this fantasy, this illusion, this pipe dream that they have created or invested in. Someone is now thinking about their superficial ways or the fact that they're always running from their problems. Let's get a little bit more energy here. I feel like this is someone who made a bad investment or those around them see that they are a bad investment. Someone never thought that you would let go or call them on their shit. Now this energy is struggling. That struggling to realize the fact that you may be moving on or you have already done so. Yeah. Someone's wanting to take a closer look, but they feel like you're detached. Hmm. Someone wants to surrender to this connection. Many of you may feel like it may be too late and many of you may feel like it's about time, but I feel you may have to look closer when it comes to this energy because it just might not be what you expect it to be. This is not what it seems. <laughs> Someone is still wearing a mask. For some of you, this energy is wearing this mask intentionally in some this energy has no clue that they are wearing this mask. This energy believes that this is who they are. This is who they become. This is who they actually are. Yet this is only a phase that they're supposed to overcome. But I feel this will definitely set apart the real from the fake. The, the survival of the fittest. Many will have to surrender and those will be drugged to their own fate. Hmm. Snake Charmer energy. Someone is still wearing a mask. Deep regrets when it comes to not having access to you. I feel this energy feels like they can charm their way out of something. But I feel they should look closer when it comes to surrendering. They should do it wholeheartedly and without this mask to gain access. It's coming out in the reverse. To have this ticket, to have this access, someone needs to open up and be vulnerable, tell the naked truth. But someone is going to be trying to charm their way instead. I feel that will only bring them to deeper regrets as this energy is already dealing with a messy situation, stormy days. Someone is going through hard times and they're trying to be comfortable or see some type of comfort in their pain of their play, play away. Someone played too many games. There's too much drama, dead weight energy. Someone feels like they definitely made the wrong choices. Choices they now realize they're gonna have to live with. But the fact that someone got exactly what they thought they wanted, I don't know why they're still mad at you. Because this energy is definitely not trying to face you, even though they're wanting your attention, wanting some type of reaction from you. Someone is just mad at you because something is still left up in the air or has already been made final. I feel this is someone who wants you to make a gesture. This is someone who wants you to make a gesture again. They feel like you're stringing them along, but something has already been made clear. This is someone who wants you to make another offer when it comes to something that is delicate, but someone is still stringing something along when it comes to social 
people or energies or a social circle that is causing them to continue to wear this mask. Someone is continuing to wear a mask in social circles, not wanting to admit it truth. Someone doesn't want you to know that truth as well. So I feel like they could be buttering others up to not want to tell or be honest about what's really going on. Someone wants you to be left in a space of confusion. Hmm. So they're juggling things when it comes to other people. They're juggling things when it comes to money. They're juggling things that are going to keep them in a ring of fire. Someone is causing their own drama. Someone is causing their own mess by playing a game, not wanting you to see a truth about something when it comes to money, an offer of love, or something that has been left up in the air. This is someone who's still juggling when it comes to confusion. This is someone who is still juggling when it comes to something that is still being strung along. This is someone who is knowing that something is delicate. They know what they're holding back or not being clear about is delicate when it comes to you. But I feel this social circle or false environment has them so confused or caught up in their own pride and ego that they can't give in to the fact that they know they love you. This energy knows they care about you or they know they did you wrong for no reason. And they're still being tamed by this other energy. They're still giving in to this pipe dream. They're still believing that something will turn out in their favor. This is someone who believes they've already, they always get away with it anyway. So this energy feels like, why not now? This energy calls themselves writing something out, but not realizing they're creating their own mess. Creating their own ring of fire. This is someone who is always believing they can just make something right through words or gestures or the fact that they are trying to juggle so many things. This energy also blames things on being too busy when in fact something or someone is dead weight. Someone is still masking their intentions, still playing games with others, still playing the victim. Someone is still sitting in a space of drama where others are watching and loving the drama, loving the energy. No one's really trying to help this energy out of a mess. This could also be the third party being watched or the third party watching. Please take it how it resonates. But someone is thinking. Thinking of trying to surrender. Surrender what's being juggled. They know they made a big mistake. And the fact that they can no longer charm their way out of this. They're starting to come out of that space of denial. Someone's still wearing a mask when it comes to money. A runner energy. Someone's still masking the fact that something was taken. Or someone is not being honest about money. Take it how it resonates. Ringmaster. Hmm. Now that is very interesting to me. So this ringmaster is definitely trying to manipulate a situation. They know something or someone is dead weight. Okay, so this could be the ringmaster who is trying to charm a situation. They're completely dead weight, but they're using others for their resources. This is why someone is wearing a mask. They don't want everyone to know. They know they're wanting to play a fool. Someone is watching all of these games play out. They're watching this person in a mask juggle everything. And this energy is exhausted. They're wanting to surrender. But this ringmaster, they're holding on with everything they got. Even though someone is dead weight, someone is not moving on. Not without a fight. Hmm. Someone definitely knows they owe you a big apology. Someone definitely wants to say, I'm sorry. They really fucked up this time. This is what I'm hearing. This is the will. Bad intentions. Someone pretending to be nice, but they're a magician. <laughs> wow. So I definitely feel here the ringmaster is someone who likes to play when it comes to actions and manifestation, even affairs of the heart, emotion, the history of relationships. This is someone who likes to play the ringmaster within situations that always create some type of ring of fire, some circle of something that is always being repeated, the drama. The drama is always there. 
and someone is realizing they can't surrender or hide from it. So they are masking their emotions, hoping you don't find out. And for some of you, this energy is staying at a distance because they believe you already know the truth. You always do. I feel this is someone who wants access, but they feel like I'm not going to pay for it. So they've given in to some weaknesses that's only causing more drama, more pain. They're still juggling. Leaving you hanging when it comes to a situation. Someone is putting on a performance. Still pretending to be a victim or innocent. Someone is... Hmm, someone left you hanging. They're a performer in a circus act. They're in a circus tent. Like, things are toxic. Things are everywhere. Every, everything is unstable. There's always drama. There's always gossip. Someone doesn't want you to know who they become or who they're dealing with, how far they have fallen. There's no solutions. So if someone knows there's no solution when it comes to money. They're working hard. And they're putting on a front, but nothing is working. Something is too damaged. This is why they're wanting to leave something behind. They don't want you to have access to what they have abandoned. Someone feels like they never have the time or there's no solutions because there's always timing issues. Someone's still juggling and putting on a show. This is a fire act where someone still has a lot of frustrations because of the monkey business that's going on in this tent. Someone's realizing there's a lot of secrets that they want to be kept when it comes to this freak show. Someone feels obligated or still obliging when it comes to people still trying to butter others up, still trying to stay in good terms or good standings with others, yet inside this energy is a loose cannon, possibly ready to explode and they don't even know it. Someone doesn't even know that they are depressed. This is why there's still people pleasing, hoping to be a part of the show, fit in, hoping others keep their secret. I feel as the roles are reversed, manipulation gets heavy. Something will be illuminated. Someone doesn't want you to see the madness, the circus, or the fact that they've gone crazy. Someone doesn't want you to see how sad they are, how bad things are, because they know they're still a sucker for you. Someone feels like the, just the thought of you really breaks them down, so seeing you would really make a change. This is why someone is trying to make a difference. Someone is looking for better news, but they're still running from their problems, not realizing they can't run from what is not healed. I feel something shocking could be taking place when it comes to this energy who just might call. So there's a rush when it comes to a bridge of the heart, but this energy is coming out as a clown. Someone who had your heart, but truly played themselves. Someone had your heart and they played themselves by doing childish things, running from the situation when they know they should have called. Someone knows they should have picked up, but now there could be a lot of deep regrets. Many of you are suspicious because you know that they have clown-like ways and they have a very suspicious way of loving you. This is someone who claims to love you, but they have a very odd way of doing so. They always run. They always go to things they feel are much comfortable, but there are situations that only cause them to have less depth or less knowledge about who they should or could be in life. This is someone who knows they made a really big mistake, but they're still juggling. Still juggling something that is dead weight as this energy is still not surrendering because of the drama that they've caused or the drama they're still sitting in as there is no real solution because they're still hiding behind a mask and still going over and over, still making the same mistakes here with the will card because someone is still running with their eyes wide shut when it comes to being in denial about their incommittal ways or non-committal ways. One more card here, Holy Spirit. I definitely feel this is someone who is trying to figure some things out. They know they made a big mistake and this is why they don't have access. They're trying to come to terms with that sadness. They're still thinking and they know something is delicate. They should have dealt with this with, with gloves on. They should have been delicate about 
how they made you feel and they're thinking about how to present something to you but still hide the truth of something spiraling so someone wants to talk about it someone wants to know if they can talk about this delicate situation because there's a lot of sadness attached to it someone's thinking about how to present something to you talk about something without talking about how it spiraled someone is wanting something to be uniform they're not wanting something to be seen in a certain way this is why something is still left up in the air it's like the elephant in the room because someone is still trying to justify or reason with themselves believing they had no choice but to do things in the way that they did this is someone who had a lot of options when it comes to a situation this is just someone who just wasn't ready to change this energy was just not ready to level up be honest or sit in the energy of strength power hmm. yet this energy gave into being a sheep or becoming a black sheep someone is sitting in solitude because of their weaknesses or lustful ways this is someone who didn't have the confidence to be bold assertive someone didn't have to the confidence to stand up with the connection they were walking with their eyes wide shut hmm. this is what caused the big mistake now someone is thinking about how things got so far but this energy is still thinking about how they can conceal something keep something from being exposed this run of energy is still not wanting to attach something to the truth hmm. Someone knows that they want you to be open to receive, but they feel like they've broken something to its end. Something is shattered, damaged, broken, beyond repair. Something is too fragmented. Someone is still sitting in a space of free for all because they don't want something to be exposed. So they're not saying anything. Someone's not saying anything after disappearing or cutting you off. Now they're thinking about this offer that you gave. And they're also thinking about how they were not rooted enough to take that offer. Someone was not stable enough, grounded enough to take the offer that they had coming from you. Someone was not sitting in a space where they were happy or content with self to even receive from you. And this is how something became a sticky situation when it comes to loyalty and respect and even growth lightning had to strike for this energy to get it right because you were patient with them you were patient with someone there's a lot of memories when it comes to this soul connection something that was spiritual instant but I also feel this is someone who is an illusionist when it comes to communication conversation or something should be faded, someone explored, went on an adventure where they were trying to navigate their voids. Someone was trying to fill a void, or they just were never satisfied. This energy ran into gloom and doom. This energy caused more despair and pain for themselves. This is adding to the wounds that they have yet to heal when it comes to communication. This is why, or commitment, this is why this energy is in solitude and scared to attach. But even when this energy is trying to detour or find another route, they're always going to come to a crossroads where there is the sort choices and decisions to be made but someone is still always pointing the finger when it comes to their choices their decisions hiding something that needs to be revealed or the fact that they're always wearing a mask but something is halted something has been parked when it comes to a completion an ending and even hope this is a runner chaser dynamic a runner chaser dynamic when it comes to someone who is still wounded Wounded and sitting in a cloudy space where they are still aloof, unbothered, knowing they need help when it comes to spiritual change or karmic interference. This is someone who is now realizing or will soon realize that they could be in danger. Something is not a safe space, but I feel if they don't move quickly, 
when it comes to something they should be cautious to. Something just might be set in stone. Something will be set in stone when it comes to time, but someone will be stuck out of pride, illusion, appearances, wanting something to seem like something that is not. They don't want others to see that they are unhappy. This is why they are secluding themselves. They're sitting in solitude. But if they don't move in time, something will be set in stone for someone who has a heart of stone. Someone needs to stand up and realize you are the key to be free. Instead of numbing the pain when it comes to something they know they should be giving into. Instead of staying disconnected and becoming a pirate energy. Someone who just has lessons. Lessons for someone who is now cuffed to their own pirate ways. Because their stone heart will only cause them a lifetime. A lifetime of misery. Someone needs to get it right before the option to change or recover this is no longer there. Some things are just not there forever for people who are still sitting in a space of being unhappy and causing that same energy for others. For many of you who had this energy just fell in line or understood the blessing which is you, they could have been open to receive this blessing, things would have been fine, but now you are on to bigger and better things. Hmm. Many of you have found your closure and many of you are still healing through it. But for many of you, whatever is broken will be re received tenfold. Hmm. Whatever is damaged will be replaced. I see devotion, commitment coming from many of you. I also feel there could be repairs coming when it comes to a family dynamic. Please take it how it resonates, but whatever is in free for all will find change, will find completion, will come to a sense of oneness. <laughs> whatever is wounded will also find a way to heal. That's what I'm getting. Pyro energy, danger. So as I said before, here with this caution energy, it's coming out again. So it's coming out on someone who is in the energy of being in solitude. Someone who is in a sticky situation for trying to set small fires. This is pyro energy for, of someone who is still not confident in their own ways of being. Confident in love, confident in the fact that Love should be given unconditionally and not under condition. But I feel this is someone who didn't learn that the way that you did. For many of you, this just doesn't feel right for you. It's just not something you want to invest in. This is someone who really causes you to feel suspicious. Will this spiral again? This energy is pretending to be in uniform. This energy is pretending that they can be in line with what you're thinking or what they're doing, but this energy is not someone you feel you can trust. This is coming out on the danger card. Many of you feel like they, they just never fought for this. They didn't fight for this, so why now? Why make this more of a difficult situation why make this more of a sticky situation many of you are just unsure if this is something you want or something you want to deal with i feel things are at a free for all things have been left up in the air because many of you are really not sure if you understand this person <sighs> but i feel many of you should give yourself a pat on the back for stepping away and allowing this person to realize the truth of life Especially when it comes to someone who is always setting fires. Let's get some more. Because you're fed up. You're over. You're done with it. It's the same thing, different day. You're tired of trying to figure someone out after they have shown you time and time again that they have yet to change or they are always going to be this way. As I said before, many of you are just fed up. You're fed up. You're cautious of someone who is bold when it comes to being aggressive or out of line with you someone feels like you were going to accept something but something caused a riff a ripple effect when it comes to the wounds that they have caused because something has been broken for too long something has been broken beyond repair this is why something is out of free for all when it comes to a soulmate connection or a close bond where someone knows that they regret treating you the way that they did 
someone knows they really screwed up. Someone feels like I took this too far, but what's done is done. I can't take it back now. Someone knows that there is a disconnect and they bring the worst out of you. Someone brings the worst out of you because they take your kindness for a weakness and you're tired of it. You're fed up. You're over it. You're tired of someone setting fires and you cleaning up a mess. But I feel this is someone who craves your attention so much as they're about ready to take this risk. I feel this is someone who is on the outside looking in. And they're trying to change, but I feel they are stuck between worlds. I feel this is someone who is feels like you're too intense. You're too emotional. They feel like they're going to have to allow time to heal this, but I feel someone knows that they betrayed you. Someone knows that they were chasing a thrill, and this is why they have caused or created this distance between the two of you. This is someone who has to keep themselves busy just to keep from thinking about you. Please reverse the roles if necessary, but someone is also entertaining other situations just to keep from thinking about you, thinking about the heartbreak or the fact that they know that they'll be judged by you. There's a lot of drama when it comes to this energy and for many of you, they too suspect. They too, it just feels like they just cannot be trusted. They cannot be trusted when it comes to building something with them, but in so many ways, this energy can't help but to think about you, but they also know they made this a very sticky situation by taking your kindness for weakness or creating some type of dysfunction or creating something to be more complicated because they were emotionally unavailable, detached. This is someone who needs to focus on their mental stability, their mental health, and even though they want to reach out to you or they want to hear your voice, this is someone who needs to focus on their growth, their wounds, their healing, their maturity. Someone needs to worry about their own broken pieces. But this energy is at a distance because they feel like they're just not good enough. This energy is holding a lot back because they know that you have requirements, you have some type of standards, and I feel them coming out or coming towards you without healing the mental space or healing their heart or spirit, doing the spiritual work. This energy will only break your heart again. This is someone who will bring tears again, disappoint you again, put you in a free-for-all again, And but for many of you, you are always right about them. The only reason you allow this energy in is because of your heart. But now that things have changed and you realize this energy is too much work or too much damage or there's too much damage, you're allowing this energy to just go with the flow of what they have chosen in life because someone's going to have to deal with their own regrets. I feel someone's definitely at a crossroads when it comes to life where they are still not ready or still in a space of transition or change. As I said before, this is someone who is still in between worlds, but the fact that this energy is still not knowing their self or what they should give others, many of you have figured out that you're too big for this. You're too, you're too big for this and you deserve better. Someone knows that you deserve the world, but the fact that they have yet to be honest with you tells you more than you need to know. This is someone who wants you to reach out in the worst way. But as I said before, you are right about them. Whatever you are feeling intuitively, you are completely right about someone who is oftenly thinking of you. This is someone who is often thinking of you, daydreaming of you, but still feeling empty inside. This is why I say even the fact that they want to be around you, this energy wants to reach out to you. They're still not ready to answer these unanswered questions. Someone is not ready to be honest with themselves or even honest with you and they'll only end up breaking your heart once again i hope you guys have enjoyed this reading and